Culture is something very good. If a person is cultured, they are supposed to be well-mannered. But sometimes culture comes with baggage from before that is wrong. For example, the abuse of a daughter-in-law happens to exist in a lot of cultures. A lot of cultures think that when a son gets married, that's a maid that has come into the house and she must take charge and do absolutely everything. And then we can sit back, relax and dish out instructions no matter who we are. That is a dirty, unacceptable culture. It is filthy and we need to get rid of it. But the sad reality, we are so comfortable in it that when someone tells us that, look, this woman has a right, she is also a queen of the home. She has the right to her own abode, etc. We tend to say, no way. We're not going to take that. This is nonsense. If you leave the house, we're excommunicating you. This is what people say because they're in a comfort zone. It is very important to fulfill family rights and family ties and to serve your parents and to serve your in-laws. But it has to happen with mutual respect and with understanding, with happiness. I, through so many years of experience that I have as a counselor who helps people sometimes in their crises, I have found that those who live further away from their parents, in actual fact, have more love than those who live within the home. And this has happened in most cases. So if you were to help your children to actually live in an apartment across the road or somewhere in the suburb, in another part of the suburb or in another part of the city or somewhere else, perhaps the love that you will have may be much more than if you were to be in the same home throughout dishing instructions to one another and perhaps trampling on the toes of one another because you are independent people who think independently and you're trying after so many years to force this person to come into your rule when that really does not happen may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us understanding so the point being raised is that which our forefathers have been doing, a lot of it is very good, but some of it might be unacceptable. We need to ask ourselves the question. When our children ask ourselves or even within ourselves, if we go through a problem or an issue, we revisit this whole matter and we try and look into it and explain to the older people, look, we're not breaking the home here. We are actually making it. What is the point of physical togetherness when we are so disunited? I'd rather be physically far apart, one in Australia and one in New Zealand and one perhaps in Hawaii and the other one perhaps, you know, in Greenland. But they love each other. They get along with each other. They can't wait to see each other. Then people who live in the same home and they cannot wait to get away from each other. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bestow upon us the common logic and the sense. I am not at all encouraging that we just abandon our parents. But my parents, I have a very, very serious statement for you this evening. If you want your children or your in-laws to respect you, you need to deserve the respect. Don't abuse them. When you abuse, you don't deserve respect. Never did Allah say that you have to be obeyed when you are wrong. Many parents say, you know what? I need to be obeyed. Look at this man. He was Azar, the father of Ibrahim. Did he have to be obeyed? Not when he was wrong. No way. When he was wrong, you don't obey. There is no obedience for anyone when they are wrong. Whether it's your father or mother, no way. They cannot justify their misbehavior, their bad words, the swear words that come out of the mouths of some of the older people, the mothers and the fathers. A'udhu Billah, you would never believe. And they expect the son to calm his wife down to say, listen, I'm your father, I'm your mother. Her, you can divorce. Me, you'll never be able to replace. Stop blackmailing your son. No way. You were wrong. If you want to be respected, you need to earn that respect. Live with respect. This is someone's child. It is going to be the mother of your grandchildren. Remember, my beloved parents, don't use the issue of Allah having told us that we need to serve our parents to get Jannah for you to abuse those children. You don't use that to abuse them. You cannot. If you want to get that Jannah, you also need to be a decent person. Go out of your way to make life easy for people. And then, wallahi, you will be respected. It will be a home filled with harmony and peace because you know, you know what? I am also a human being. I, I also owe Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala my acts of worship and I owe the rest of human beings, the rest of humankind, starting with my own family, kindness. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us.